what we have to understand it is demons influencing people to do evil things to you for instance you are minding your own business and someone insults you or do something wrong to you you have to know that it is demons that are influencing people to do those things. So if you say to yourself, hey, when someone does something wrong to me, I am going to do something wrong to them. If you think that way and act upon that, you are always going to do evil things, wrong things to people forever because Demons are always going to get people to do you wrong. So you may say, well, if I don't do anything back, they may see me as a punk or a pincushion or they are just going to continue to mess with me. Like I said, if you think in that way, and do wrong things to people because they have done wrong to you and you are always doing that that is never going to end because people are always going to do wrong to you so what is going to happen you are going to end up in trouble if someone does something wrong to you forget about it if you have to stay away from that person but you must not do wrong to people because they have done wrong to you because the cycle is never going to end and you are going to end up in trouble or more hurt so who actually wins if your enemy is doing evil to you and you are doing evil to your enemies, who is actually winning? Demons are. Demons. So what is happening, you are being played as a puppet. And you may say to yourself that no one controls you or controls your mind and you are this strong person, so on and so on. No, you're not. Because you are being manipulated by demons. Demons are winning. when you do evil to people because they have done evil to you because it is a demon that is influencing your enemy to do you evil and it is a demon or demons that are influencing you to get your revenge so both parties are being manipulated <laughs> If someone does evil to you, you don't have to do evil to that person. Does that make any sense? And when you do wrong to people, whether or rather it is your fault or not, God is going to curse you because you are going to reap what you sow. So whatever you do is going to come back to you. So if you do good, more good is coming back to you. If you do evil, more evil is coming back to you. So even if you are getting your revenge, we are not supposed to get our revenge. God is going to avenge us. So you don't have to worry about it. Because if you try to seek out your own revenge, much more negative, bad things are going to happen. Think about that. Because if you have that mind frame, hey, I am going to do wrong to people because they have done wrong to me, that is never going to end. Okay, God bless.